Hey everybody, today we are going to do something really simple and really fun, which is we are going to create animated toggle switches using the morph transition in PowerPoint. To demonstrate what this looks like, I'm going to start with a simple screen that has a switch that is toggled off. And on the next slide, I have a toggled on switch with a morph transition in between. And this is what that animation looks like. It's very smooth and very fun. And there are a lot of applications that you can use this for. You can use it in a live presentation to indicate right and wrong answers, as well as games and other activities. So let's dive into the slides and see what we're looking at. I'm going to go ahead and delete my slides, my toggled slides, and we're going to start this from scratch. So I'm going to start with a new blank screen, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. Right now it doesn't matter what color the rectangle is. I'm just going to put a rectangle on screen and we're going to start building the toggle switch. I'm going to put this right in the center and I'm going to go to shape format. I'm just going to take out the outline right now. I want that to be a zero outline and I'm going to duplicate that. And again, shape format, I'm going to edit the shape and I'm going to make this into a circle. So right now you can see the circle is an oval. The height is 0.84, and I'm gonna make the width 0.84 as well. And those numbers don't matter. It's just whatever the height of the rectangle is that you want, that's the height that you'll have. I'm gonna place this right on there. It locks onto the end, and I'll duplicate that and put it on the other side as well. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and just put this to the side. Now I'm going to highlight all three of these elements. I could group these, but what I want to do instead is highlight them. I'm going to go to Shape Format and Merge the Shapes and just select Union so that they are one image. Now I have my one single image and I have the ball part of the toggle as well. So I'll put the ball, this will be the off position. I need to change these colors so that there's something different. So let me go to the fill and I'm gonna put this something a little bit dark. And then the inside part, I'm gonna fill this with something a little bit lighter. And then what I like to do is I'll go again to fill and select the gradient, give it just a little bit of texture. And if you wanna change the exact gradient, you can right click, format the shape, and here's where you have control over those elements as well. So I could make this maybe just a touch lighter if I wanted to. Now I'm going to go to design and I'm going to format the background so that it's all uniform. And I'm going to put this as a gray. This is like the off position for our toggle switch. I'm going to duplicate this slide. And now all I'm going to do is change the fill for all of these. So for the, this is the switch part. I'm going to put a blue color. Maybe something like this for this piece. Uh, first I'll put a solid green, maybe this green, and perhaps I wanna look at that as a, a gradient. I'll go ahead and fill this, and in the shape format, I'm going to select this gradient. And then the background, I'm going to go to design and format background, and let's give this a little bit of life as well because they chose the right answer. Maybe a touch darker. So let's see what we have right now. I'm gonna morph this transition. I think that two seconds is a bit long, so let's bump this down to maybe one second. And then the last touch, I'm going to put the toggle on the other position. So let's see what we have. Here's our off state, and there's our on state. One thing I'll do is I want there to be a little bit of texture. This is very flat, and I do like the flat designs but I don't like it that flat. So I'm going to come over here to the format shape, this long shape, and I'm going to drop a little bit of a shadow inside of there, an inner shadow to give it depth. Now, I don't want it to be that much depth, so I'm gonna play around with the blur and the distance. The distance I might set to zero, and the blur perhaps four or a five. That just gives it a little bit of, of depth. And I can also set a blur for the ball as well. I think, again, five is a bit much, maybe maybe two, just to give it a tiny bit of depth. And you can also play around with the gradients a little bit if you want. There's something like that, a little bit more subtle. I, I kept this pretty flat because we are in the dark, and there you can see a little bit of life, a little bit of, a little bit of shadows right there. And you can switch this around, change the color schemes if I wanted to make this perhaps red for stop and green for go. I can change the background, put this more of a red. Uh, that looks pretty austere. So maybe a softer red.
that doesn't look great, but you can play around with it and come up with your own color schemes if you would like. And so that's how you can easily do a toggle interaction in your presentation. It's a lot of fun and pretty creative.